It is out with the old and in with the new. Midland ISD will be waiving some schools to require students to wear uniforms. So this is a new transition, basically just allowing students to wear whatever they want, as long as they're wearing it within the dress code. But what do parents and students have to say about all this? Well, Jelena, lots of mixed responses over at Fannin Elementary when I spoke with the parents and students there. Now, with some in favor of this, saying that they can now express their uniqueness. Others saying uniforms help them save some money on school clothes. And it was an easier way for kids to get ready in the morning. Students will be coming back to some MISD schools like Fannin Elementary a little different than how they left. This summer, the school has officially ended their uniform policy. So it was a process. Uh, we got our feedback from our community, our teachers, our fa uh, families, students. Our sixth grade did a debate. I did my surveys. We did our just talking. Um, we met on it, committed, you know, to being consistent. So. A change that parents like Marissa Villanueva. We have been at Bannon since kindergarten, so yes, this is our sixth year here at Bannon. Has mixed feelings about. Okay, I've always been pro uniform because of the ease, but I totally support that decision uh, that Mrs. Nettles made. The parents wanted it, the students are extremely excited about it. They get a chance to showcase their personalities and their uniqueness, and they're very much looking forward to that. Sarah Steppen, whose kids also attend Fannin, is in favor of the change. For our family, it works. Um, I don't feel like I'm, I'm buying two separate wardrobes for four different kids, and so that's kind of nice. Um, but we're also missing out on the, like, no questions asked, you know what you're wearing in the morning. So I see both sides. And as for the students? I didn't like them. They're pretty excited that they're now able to wear what they want to school. I didn't want to wear uniforms because I didn't. I don't like having to wear the same thing every day. So I'm glad we don't have to wear them. A new transition for students to express themselves, something that Principal Cicinero says students are deserving of. It gives them a chance to say, this is who I am. And they didn't abuse it last year. We didn't have uniforms. And they did awesome. Our teachers did awesome, and our students did too. So we're going to be good. And our parents did tell me they plan on donating these uniforms that their kids are no longer using. You can check your child's school website to see if their dress code has changed or if they will or will not, if they will or will not be wearing uniforms this upcoming school year. Now, News West 9 also talked with some other moms and dads to get their advice when it comes to going back to school. Here's a pro tip from mom Don Dwan Jones, who has a senior in ECISD. With my, my 12th grader, Amad Janae, I have enforced prayer at nighttime. So when she can't sleep and I've taken away her iPad, her cell phone, we pray. <laughs> Jones also talks about the importance of a well-balanced meal before bed and in the morning for breakfast. Make sure your child goes to bed at a good time before school starts. And since her child works, she's flexible and makes sure she has a consistent routine. Now, if you would like to send any of your pro mom or dad tips, you can send a tip to 432-567-9991.